Hello, good morning, welcome from Montreal, Canada. Those storms, Irma, Jose and Katia, not doing too good. And now Jose plowing through, approaching Leeward Island, where it all started and then went down to the Caribbean. It is now along the coast of Cuba, hours maybe from Florida, everyone bracing. And I hope everyone in Florida is out. You should all leave, there will be no police or any authorities there maybe for days so and there's other storms coming so get out what is this it is the planet beside the sun oh now you're going to rewind it and go back and look at it right yes this is the object let's call it that's beside the sun i'm not going to let anyone tell me it's not there i'm on the surface i've done the test the clouds going by in front of the object that i've seen testing uh the light flares on my camera. Me, I don't know if you guys know, but photographers will. When I set up, I always adjust at that flare. If ever there is one, I will stick it in the center of the sun so it won't be seen. And that way you get a nice alignment. It's a nice trick. We're looking at a celestial object that either is still there or was there. Well, due to the weather, I was not, and I'm still not able to get back to see if it's there, but I do admit that I have not always seen it there. I see it dimmer, I see it passing, I see it further. Um, always in the a similar area in the surrounding field of my camera's view, but it's moving, you know. Um, I got some amazing footage of it. I mean, are you seeing the surface? The towering structure I just showed you on the right. This fascinates me when I see towering structures like that because it's either a natural formation or something that was built, but it looks very, 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 I'm trying not to laugh. Look at this. It looks so, so, so built, you know? Yes, I hate saying that because I, I it happens so often that I find a planet. Look at this. No, is this, no, it's not New York. This is an object that's, that's be, right beside the sun. Guys, I found something absolutely astonishing. I went back into my sun footage. I did get more sun footage. Uh, uh, honestly, I have not stopped, not stopped since. Oh, look at this mirror image of that planet beside it. You know, there's a function to this mirroring an image to see. Um, I find it helps the person see better. You'll see, you see two sides of the structure. This is one side. There's something down there. There's something massive, spherical, with a platform and towering building like object with two symmetrical objects that it seems on each side of it we're going to go on the sun my friends we're going to see something absolutely amazing i was up all night i worked very hard on this video but i'm so happy to be able to present it to you and for those who are interested there are various ways to filter we're all used to hearing infrared and x-ray but you can apply other techniques to that. You can apply other ways. It's not because you're seeing a filtering that's uh, pinkish and not bluish like it's supposed to be that it's not working. It's that different colors and that's how thermal imaging works too. It doesn't mean the red spots are hotter than the green spots. It depends. You have to uh, find that out. Use common sense. The center of the sun, well here we'll have different temperatures. Well look what we are seeing coming out through the layers of the sun's atmosphere. These look like balls of plasma. I don't know what they are, but they're absolutely amazing. And I looked through hours of footage and unfortunately it's only this video that had it. There it just went again. This is slowed down. I saved the video and went back and slowed it down. The footage is almost stopped. I can't get any slower than that. Unfortunately, I'd like to see them come out real slow, but it looks like bursts of something coming out of the sun. Uh, very agitated. The sun was very agitated that day, uh, three weeks ago. And now these beautiful objects coming out of the sun for a change instead of seeing them go into the sun. But hang on, it gets a lot weirder along the video. And here's another one. Look carefully. You're, you're seeing many, many uh, objects coming out of the sun. And they seem all to be spherical. They're like projectiles. They're going extremely fast. And then I found this. This is either, it could be natural, don't forget, it could be a star or a planet that's actually transiting the sun. I don't know what it was, but it was absolutely magnificent. And when it came into view, 
it astonished me and I did see it in the in the viewer and here I look up at the Sun and of course saw absolutely nothing uh, with the naked eye because it's you know not too good to stare into the Sun right we just don't do it uh, as we go along you'll see these beautiful objects uh, these anomalies and these occurrences whether this is coronal mass ejections or small uh, flares that are not affecting the corona in any way or photosphere they're just uh, going out into the atmosphere but let me tell you that they're pretty big and they are going very 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 fast but keep looking because along the way some of these lights that we're seeing or plasma or whatever it may be leaving the sun some of them are actually uh, moving around in different directions you'll see a couple of them go up down up down and then go around a part of the sun which is not normal for a blast of plasma leaving the sun and then going around it maybe it is I don't know what, what, what's going on but this beautiful passing of this maybe it's a transit like I said this could be very normal it could be an asteroid it could be a normal planet or moon or, or a star that is uh, doing its normal trajectory around the Sun that there's nothing to worry about but nonetheless it's absolutely incredible to see and to be a witness of plasma ejections Wow 2016 October 6th, to be exact, Hubble detected giant cannonballs shooting from a certain star. Now, Hubble's space telescope detected super hot blobs of gas, each twice as massive as the planet Mars, being ejected near a dying star. The plasma balls are zooming so fast through space it would take only 30 minutes for them to travel from Earth to the Moon. Uh, this information that I am telling you right now is from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, NASA, California Institute of Technology. It's on the website. And this is where I was finding the comparison to what I was seeing because I'm trying to find what it was. And of course, they are plasma ejections that I caught and that we see here right now. Um, they present a puzzle to astronomers, NASA says because the ejected material could not have been shot out by the host a star. See what's happening, they have a scenario here, you can go and see for yourself about uh, the plasma ejections, why, what's going on, what's happening. But to make a long story short, they're saying that an object close by, um, you know, when dying stars are dying, they form planetary nebulae. They're formed from dying stars. This is how nebulae is formed. And researchers are finding out that these nebulae near dying stars, all these beautiful objects that are being created, they're analyzing and studying them right now. This is also very recent in uh, scientific study and research. It's just absolutely amazing to be able to witness them. But of course, every 8.5 years, this can happen. Um, it's not something that's very uh, common all the time. Now look here, all this, all these lights, plasma shooting out from the Sun so first of all is the Sun dying is this a natural process no this is the only video I have of these objects coming out of the Sun this much and this object look at the trail my friends just made a nice spiral over top came back around and then left that did not look like a plasma ejection but the other ones you know I don't know these are the beautiful contributors helping me get the telescope. I'll have the telescope link camp uh, to the campaign up, guys. Thanks so very much.